As well, on behalf of all the participants in today's program, uh, if it's possible for Hazur to share with us the most exciting events of his latest tour in Indonesia. I think you have been watching <coughs> these tours and the programs on television and uh, there's not much else to report. But uh, one thing I must say that uh, God seems to have revolutionized things in Indonesia. The Jamaat has progressed since I became Khalifa from 10,000 to at least 200,000. And they say it's one million. Because of lack of contact, they gradually shifted away. So apart from them, there are new possibilities which have been opened now. A king or a sultanate in Indonesia who is a king of ten, one million people. He became Ahmadi with the grace of Allah and then he brought some of his relatives and influential people there along with him and they played behind me and uh, they also seem to be well influenced so he has made a vow that inshallah he'll convert the whole of his kingdom of one million into Ahmadis within a year or so Similarly, there are great hopes in the Indonesian people to work with like recharge batteries. And the way they are determined to preach, I think, within next two, three years, inshallah, they will uh, become greater in number than Pakistani Yemenis in Pakistan. So very, the hopes are very high, both theirs and mine. So inshallah, I think this will become a really historic tour. God has so designed. I am the first caliph to have ever visited Indonesia. They wanted very much, they requested every other caliph, but the government wouldn't permit this time Allah opened the way and this happened largely because of course after Allah had so designed largely because of Mr. Dawam Rajo Lahorjo I don't know why he came here a few months ago but uh, he came on his own and interviewed me. So perhaps he had the impression that uh, he would detect some flaws in our ideology, etc., and go back and tell the Indonesian people that I have met him myself. But uh, during the one hour session, he was completely transformed. He's a very honest and brave person. So when he went there, because he exerted influence over the Indonesian government and uh, the speaker of the assembly is a close friend of his, he's a very powerful person. So he saw to it that with his influence over the speaker and the minister, religious ministry etc. they invited me officially. The government of Indonesia invited me and I met the president and the speaker and all the other important personage there. And with the grace of Allah, I can say that uh, it was very successful with the grace of Allah. And inshallah, we'll see the results of this success in the future. Was he a journalist or who? The one? Yes. He is uh, the chief of the second largest religious organization called Muhammadiyah. 
the two religious organizations which uh, cover almost all Indonesia. One is greater in number, which is called, uh, I don't know, it's a mixture of different ulama, orthodox ulama. And the second one in number is Muhammadiyah. So he's the chief of Muhammadiyah organization. 